So let's talk about what Gerber Girl Prawn is really selling and how it's priced. A big part of their marketing is that it's affordable and you gotta lock in a child size premium while your child is young. But the truth is that they're selling really expensive insurance and it's a type of insurance that your child is unlikely to ever want or need. So what Gerber is selling is whole life insurance that's standard rated. What that means is that it's a kind of permanent life insurance, so a benefit is paid whenever the insured person passes away. Contrast that with term, which pays a benefit only if the insured person passes away during a defined period of time. Now the fact that the Gerber product is standard rated is really important. Standard rating sounds like what most people get, but it's actually not. In fact, it's the fourth highest underwriting class. So there are three grades that are basically better and therefore less expensive than standard rating. And a majority of people actually do better than a standard rating. In fact, it's widely acknowledged in the industry, like you can find papers about it from conferences, that only about 5% of people actually do worse than a standard rating. We talk more about that in the video, Gerber Needs to Stop Scaremongering, but just know for now that it's super unlikely that your child would grow up to have worse than standard pricing for life insurance. Okay, so another really important thing to think about is like what is your beloved little one actually going to want for life insurance in the future? To think through this, I'll use the example of my own daughter. She's one year old. Gerber Grow Up Plan wants to charge us $391.20 a year for $50,000 of life insurance, which will double to 100 when she turns 18, $100,000. Now, Gerber talks about that as an affordable monthly premium of $32.60, but it really adds up, and you've gotta think about what it gets you and what other choices my daughter will have in the future. That $391 a year, nearly $400, really does not compare well to other types of insurance that are frankly representative of stuff that she's much more likely to want when she herself is a grown up. If you take a look at the pricing for what insurance would cost a 35-year-old woman who wants 30-year term, meaning she wants to have insurance between the ages of 35 and 65 to, say, replace her income or the care she provides for free if she suddenly weren't there, that pricing is way less than Gerber Grow Up if that woman is a non-smoker who's also very healthy. In fact, it'd be about $135 a year, so $250-some dollars of savings every year and we would not have had to pay over $13,000 to Gerber to get that pricing. Ugh. So what would happen if my daughter grew up to be a smoker who's actually unhealthy relative to other smokers? Her premium would basically be the same as the Gerber Grow Up premium if she wanted to buy 30-year term insurance at age 35. That is ridiculous. The fact that my daughter could grow up to be a smoker, which massively increases rates, and be unhealthy versus other smokers, and still pay about the same price as what Gerber wants to charge me for my healthy one-year-old daughter today, that is ludicrous. So I'm gonna try and not let this go on for too long, so I'll just close by saying that the fact that something looks affordable does not mean that it's a good value, and it certainly does not make it a good idea. Gerber Grow Up Plan is not a good value, and in my opinion, it is definitely not a good idea. If you wanna learn more about Gerber Grow Up Plan, we have a bunch of videos and blog posts about that. If you feel like you're ready to say no thanks to the Gerber Grow Up Plan, then feel free to come on over to Above Board Financial and learn about all the other options that are available to you. It's wonderful that you wanna give your little one a financial head start in life, but there are way better ways to do it than the Gerber Grow Up Plan.